morning everybody morning i am i'm headed back home because i've been out and about and and done a whole bunch of stuff already this morning and i just thought you know while i was out doing all the things i've been doing running kids and and walking and exercising and all that good fun stuff um i just it came to me that really truly everything that we want everything that we want to manifest everything that we want to call into our life that we want to have is emotional based and that's like a no duh thing right like i talk about it all the time but this concept of emotional goals emotional goals i mean when i say that i just i because it's like went off in my head right and I was like emotional goals I think I'm gonna write about it I think I might do a workshop on it I think you know just all this different stuff emotional goals you know at the at the bottom of everything at the bottom of everything what do we want you know I just I, I, I feel like I always say the same stuff over and over and over again and I know I do, and I think that any of us coaches who are out there and we, you know, it all comes back to soul alignment. It comes back to wanting to be happy. It comes back to wanting to be loved. It comes back to wanting connection. It has nothing to do with the car or the house or the money in the bank or the job that we have or what our partner looks like or where our partner works or any of that. It does not really ultimately have anything to do with any of that. We just want those things because we believe that those things are going to make us feel one way or another. So we're actually after the feeling. We're after the emotion that our goals give us once we have them, once we've succeeded at gaining them. So emotional goals. And, and here's the funny thing. We run around, <clears throat> we run around and we, yeah, Addison, you have to get caught in the feels. You do, you do, you have to get caught in the feels. I mean, that is a great, I'm stealing that. I'm stealing that. Thank you. Thank you. I love it when love it when somebody says something to me and I'm just like, yes, I'm going to, I'm doing something with that. All right. You have to get caught in the feels. That's, that's a great tagline and it's going on something today. Um, but no, you, you do, you have to get caught in the feels. And what happens is what do we do? We get caught in the feels. All right. Like we are feeling people. We are a feeling, feeling society and we ignore what we're feeling and we t try to talk ourselves out of feeling and we take medications to stop us from feeling and we do all this different stuff to avoid the feels we do we do all this stuff to avoid the feels we we basically try to hypnotize the shit out of ourselves trying to avoid the feels but we're strangely comfortable with feeling bored with feeling meh with even feeling sad with, you know, like just this low grade, what I call melancholy because it's kind of like, you're not, you're not expressively depressed, but you're still depressed. <laughs> you're still depressed. You're just not happy. You're just not turned on. You just have no real true enthusiasm or excitement for life. There's not thriving in melancholy. Melancholy is bleh. <laughs> melancholy is just, is not, not, not cool. But I look around and, you know, I always, I talk about the gray people and I figured I've been taking so much slack lately from different people saying, you know, why are you filtering your videos? Why do you edit your pictures? You're so wanting to be this way. You're so wanting to be that way. You preach this, you preach that, you know, all this different, all this different stuff, but then you filter your videos. Well, you know what? Sometimes that's me being authentically me. And I, I like filtration too. You know, it's just like if I was completely, nobody is a hundred percent authentic, but the more we get 
in integrity with ourselves, the more authentic we become, the more truthful we become, the more revealing our feelings are to us as well. And it's really getting clear and right with the feelings that we're having, because here's the thing, we have to get into the feels. We're always in the feels. We just don't recognize what feels we're in. So we set these physical, financial goals you know, it's like, I want to have this body. I want to have this much money in the bank. I want to, I want to have this house. I'm going to, I'm going to have this kind of relationship, do, 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 right? All this, all this stuff that we want. And we set these out and we put this, it's like, we're looking for a tangible result. So we put these goals out there of like, by this date, this is going to happen. By this date, I'm going to have this, 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 right? And what we end up doing is we're sitting here in the fields of that melancholy where we're the fields of boredom, where the fields of lost, where the fields of overwhelm, where the fields of anxiety, where the fields of bitterness, where the fields of anger, resentment, frustration. But we have these goals that we're putting out there, these, you know, things that we're wanting and all of that. We're like, Oh, when I get that, when I have this much money in the bank, when I meet the, the man, the woman of my dreams, when I have all the sex that I want, when I, um, you know, move to the neighborhood that I want to live in, when I get the job that I want to get, when I graduate with the degrees that I want to graduate, whatever it is, right? When I get through this financial crisis, I love that one because that one I think is a very popular one. When I get through this financial crisis, then then I will, you know, be happy. Then I'll be happy. Then I'll feel complete. Then I'll feel successful. Then I'll feel freedom. Then I'll feel love. Then I'll feel connection, right? Then I'll be able to lean in and trust. Then I'll be able to really you know, have that yummy, juicy life that I want to have that I'm not having right now because I'm really not feeling it right now because this, 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 this. And what we do is we look at what is here. We look at, you know, the physical things that are going on, the people that are in our life, our situations, the experience that we're in right now. And we get so caught up in the feels of the right now that we forget that what we really need to be doing is leaning into the feels of what we want. Because you know what? All those feels that you really want, all that emotion that you really want to have, the reason why you're going after the goals that you're going after is to have that emotional, you know, experience. Well, all because they're emotion, you're not needing necessarily something for you to hold on to and say, oh, I just bought this brand new car. It's the car of my dreams. And now I'm happy. Yeah, that's like going to last. How long are you going to be happy when you get the car of your dreams? Like how, ooh, it's a shiny, blingy new thing for right now. But then what? You know, in a week from now, when it's got mud on it or you know it's rained and it's dusty and there's some trash in there and you know or you spilt your you spilt your coffee because you turned a corner too quick and it's just your car then it's just your car that emotion is going to pass by and then what are you left with are you going to just go back to being empty and being melancholy and anxiety ridden? And maybe you are already anxiety ridden because you finally got your car, but that cost you this car payment and this, da, 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 all this different stuff, right? So it really is just <clears throat> you focusing in on if you want to manifest, if you want to create whatever that might be, get into those emotions right now set those emotional goals but connect to the emotion right now because you can be happy right now you can be in love right now you can be turned on right now you can be ecstatic right now you can be free right now that feeling of freedom that feeling of connection you can have it right now you know maybe you're not gonna have maybe right now you don't have 
that person that you've got painted in your head. But what do you have when you're painted in your head? Yes, you got that, but you got that feeling like, oh, oh, I want that. I want that. Like, oh, when he, you know, does this or when she does that and, and this and that. And you have this like idea, this concept in your head as to what it will be like and the emotion that's going to come up with you when that happens. But between here and there, what you have is distance and you have a hell of a lot of distance because, because you're stuck in this feels and not in that feels. And if you get to that feels right here, well then guess what? You short circuit, you shorten the time frame for it to actually come into your world, for it to actually come into your life because you're already there. You're already feeling it. So everything that you're feeling right now, you're going to draw in things that are going to attract more of that feeling into your life. So if you want to truly have what you think is going to make you happy, successful, free, content, full, whatever, then you have to get into those feels right now. You have to be living it right now without the physical manifestation of whatever those physical financial goals might actually be. You have to get into the emotional aspect of it. And there's really just no other way around it. There's just no, there's, it's, it just is that way. It just is. And people can argue with me and people can call me crazy and say that I have, what was the comment from the other day? This woman has multiple mental issues. I love that comment. Yes, I am crazy enough to believe that my emotions matter. Your emotions matter. We are emotional people. We can manifest shit out of thin air, basically, by focusing in and allowing ourselves to feel happy. Oh my gosh, that's a horrible thing. Feel happy right now. And through our happiness, we draw more happiness. And if that makes me crazy and with multiple mental disorders, then so fucking be it. And you know, that's just the way it is. But over and over and over again, if you look out into this world and you look at the leaders, the visionaries, the game changers of this world, yes, they had, they have and had physical goals that got set, but those physical goals were based on a dream. They were based on a feeling. They were based on an emotional goal first. They wanted something or they want something that is over here and they know that it can be achieved. And then if you look at the things that they do on a day to day basis and bringing it down to right now, you are going to find the majority of those people who are successful and thriving and happy and still connected and not killing themselves with work and completely living lost in other areas of their life, except for this one little area that they're really, really focused on. And they feel that they have to just push, 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 because you can have fantastic results by pushing fucking hard and by doing tons and tons of work. And you can do that. You can push your, the life right out of you. And literally the life right out of you. And that's what you're doing is you're pushing the life right out of you when you're trying to force and you're trying to physically force something to happen. And you can get in there and you can work your ass off. You can. And you know what? That's perfectly fine and dandy. If some, if you, if that's you and that's what you want to do, then that's fine. And if you disagree with what I'm saying, that's absolutely fine too. I'm completely good with that because I don't really need anybody to agree with me. <coughs> but if you want to be thriving in all areas of your life, if you want to honor your soul, if you want to really truly be happy and connected and loved and to love and to just have what true freedom is, because if you're out there and you're killing yourself, working your ass off, you're not free and you're certainly not thriving. You might have all the money, but you're not going to have everything else that you really truly want, which that's that financial, that's that, that's more than the financial. That's more than the physical. That's the emotional. And that's why so many people who do go and work their ass off and leave out the emotional part or try to unmask the emotional part, then you look at them and they're really, truly unhappy people. They're really unhappy. You know, they're stressed out. Sure. They might have this or this or this, but they're really stressed out. And it's because they've left behind the emotion. They've left behind their heart. They left behind their soul. And if you 
really truly get into alignment with your soul, with your heart, and you set those emotional goals and you bring those emotions right here into, into the now, that's how you draw them in from anywhere else. So there you go. That's my little morning conscious coffee. Oh yeah. I forgot. I have coffee in my hand. It finally cooled down enough for me to drink it too, which is good. Um, I see. Those who are happy and innovators are always seen as crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so, so true. You're crazy because you are happy and a motherfucking genius and not willing to take just average and ordinary. Fuck yeah, you know? Why would I take average and ordinary? I lost the desire for average and ordinary like when I was five. I don't know. It's, I don't think I've ever been average and ordinary in my thinking or in my desires or in just my, or anything. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Nope. I was born sick and tired of being sick and tired of average and ordinary. And that's just the way it is. So, um, yeah, with that, I'm going to just leave that on that note there. I'm going to encourage anybody. If I said anything in here that's touched you, made you go, fuck yeah. Uh, excuse my fucks this morning because I'm just in a fuck yeah mood, which I think is a good thing. I'm going to proclaim it a good thing and therefore it is. Um, yeah, hit the share button, hit the share button. Help me get these conscious coffee messages out there to other people. I really do appreciate everybody who has been doing that little announcements on a manifestation level, because that's kind of just the mood that I'm in. I'm going to just stick to manifest your manifest your man. Like that is what I have going on here in the next couple weeks. So my I have this online global course. I'm proclaiming this month, the month of May, and this is Mother's Day coming up. Um, I figured that it's a good month to just make it Women's Month, you know? So this is Ladies Month, Goddess Month, Queen Month. And we're gonna start off by manifesting your man. And it's not just manifest your man, it is manifest your conscious lover. And all right, so you know, ladies, I am speaking to you everybody out there in the world, the, the women of the world, because this is a global course. I'm teaching it live here on Facebook. Then you're going to have lifetime access to it on my, on my members dashboard and everything. Just like anytime I teach anything here on, on Facebook. But what I'm going to be offering in this class is really just the manifestation tools to pull in the conscious lover to really figure out how you can become the match for the man that you are wanting to draw into your life. <coughs> and a lot of the times, I mean, I've had it happen too. I've had these total, excuse me, guys who are watching, who have seen this, I've had these total jerks, you know, and last year I went out on a ton of dates over a really short period of time, which is a whole nother story, a whole nother project that I'm not going to get into right this very second. But I did, I went into all these, uh, I went on all these dates and some of the, some of the crazy, crazy stuff that I experienced from these gentlemen. Um, it was just, it was whacked. It was so whacked. And it got me to thinking, you know, it's like, I hear these stories because in general, I was doing a project back then. So I went on dates with people that I wouldn't normally go on dates with people that I really wasn't connected or attracted to because I was trying to get a feel for all these different people. Cause I went, you know, women do go out on dates with these guys. So I need to go and experience this because even though I'm not a yes to this person, somebody is a yes to this person. So what is this experience like? So I went and I did all this dating and I had all these experiences that I normally would never even get myself into because I definitely attract a different kind of a different breed of man. And I came out of it just shaking my head. Like what the heck women put up with this? Like women actually date this. These guys actually think that they like, this is cool. This is day. unconscious as can be so freaking unconscious, like presence level that a squished slug had more presence level than what some of these gentlemen had. Um, yeah, so it just got me to thinking about presence and about consciousness and about the masculine 
and how lucky and blessed I have in general been. I've had my share of unconscious men come through my world too, and I've learned, but for the most part, I really do have really higher level conscious men that just because I'm, I'm more attracted to that and that's just what I draw in, right? Well, why is it that I draw more conscious men into my life? Why is it that I have men that even though I tell them no, they persist for six, seven years, consistently trying to date me, consistently trying to connect with me. You know, no matter what is going on in my world, I can be in a serious relationship. I can be, you know, I, I've, I've been in open relationships. I've been in monogamous relationships. I've been through all this different stuff. And I have these men that, you know, through all time have just kind of consistently been there. Great men, not in alignment to what I want, not in alignment to my heart and my soul. So I say no, but still phenomenal men. Um, so, you know, in this, when I look at that, when I look at those men and then I look at the other men out there and then I look at the women and then I'm working with women and I, my friends and my daughters and everything, I want to be able to gift you ladies with the skills that I've learned over since I don't, maybe I was born with some of them or maybe I just picked it up along the way, whatever it might be, I'm gonna share it with you. I'm gonna share those secrets. I'm gonna share the manifestation secrets because I think that all of us ladies deserve to have love in our life, deserve to be desired, to be chased, to be romanced, to have that connection, to be able to be authentically us and not shamed for it and to have a present partner in our life, a present partner who is not necessarily all, oh, 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 you know, like everything is right with us. No, because what? We want challenge too. We want the mental, the mental stimulation. We want the emotional stimulation. We want the physical stimulation. We want it all, right? We want it all. You know what? You can have it all. You can. We tend to settle. We tend to settle or we tend to get caught up in those men then we think we, we sell out early and, you know, I call that like we, we, um, hire really, really fast and then it takes us forever to fire this person. And we know that we should fire them, but we don't because we're more scared of being alone. We're scared of going back into the dating world. We're scared of all these different things. And we forget about the motherfucking goddesses that we are, the Queens that we are, and that we can have that amazing, conscious, dynamic, passionate, purposeful, turned on, very present lover in our life. We deserve that. We do. We deserve that. So this workshop, it's going to be on May 11th on my mom's birthday. We're going to have this workshop and we are going to be going through the manifestation skills to get you conscious lover that you really truly want. I'm going to teach you a whole bunch of phenomenal stuff and we are going to just go out there and rock this world, ladies. Okay. We're going to rock the men's world and draw them in. And then, yeah, yeah, it's just going to be fun. It'll be fun. You're going to learn a ton. So click on the link for that. It is in the comment section for this. I know I went like on a total, like, too much coffee this morning. Maybe, I normally don't drink Starbucks. Maybe they put something in here. I don't know. They kept trying to give me sugary drinks. I sat in the Starbucks drive through and I had ordered, I always get a grande latte with one raw sugar because I don't like things overly sweet, but I like my coffee just with, you know, I like, I, I only do a little bit of creamer and just a little bit of sweetener, just one raw sugar. So it's just got mild sweetness. And they tried to give me two other drinks, both of which were high sugar content. Like it was, it's big vintage frappuccino thing. And then they gave me like a double white mocha thing. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want all this sugar. I was like, is somebody telling me that I need to sweeten up this morning? It's perfectly sweet. Jeez. No. Um, so yeah, I think I just had a little bit too much coffee, but you know, what? adds with the morning enthusiasm that I already have. I just woke up just going, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll click on the link, ladies. This class is going to be phenomenal. It is uh, going to be very, very intensive, but powerful. So if you are single, 
and you're looking for how to attract a decent man out there, like where did all the good guys go? Yeah, let's go find them. Click on that uh, link in there. Otherwise, for everybody else who got caught up in, in whatever the heck I just did there, um, I will catch you later with another conscious coffee. As always, stop existing, start living. You can follow me at www.kendallwilliams.com and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye everybody. And I can't even hang up on myself. You see, I can't do it. No, it's because of this. Okay, now I'm going to say goodbye. Bye.